Hey, you beautiful Buccaneers, Falcor here. So, Seasons are here, and I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what it's all about. And although the developers have given you a walkthrough and an explanation of what it all is, I thought it was important to perhaps actually explain it. So think of Seasons as your own pirate's faction. You have the Order of Souls, Gold Hoarders, etc. But now you have your pirate, and his or hers, Renown. You earn this renown for doing things within the game such as quests, world events, handing in treasure, stealing treasure, or just cooking a chicken leg. This can be done organically, as there is always something to do, and some way to fill your pirate's renown. However, for those completionists out there, the Pirate Renown tab will also display all the tasks you need to complete to help fast track you to level 100. Each time you rank up a new level in Seasons, your pirate will be offered a reward. This will either be a cosmetic, a title, some gold, doubloons, or even some ancient coins. Yes, that's right, you can now earn ancient coins within the game without having to spend countless hours searching for these little gits. As part of Seasons, you will also be offered some Pirate Legend exclusive items, such as this much-anticipated curse, which will finally have you looking like a mysterious stranger. Now, let's move on to the Plunder Pass. Oh yes, such a controversial subject among the Karens in the room. Imagine spending money on something and getting something in return from a business trying to earn a profit. What a terrible thing. I mean, for example, I bought some milk the other day and then found out that I needed to purchase cookies separately. Can you imagine? The Plunder Pass will be available at the Pirate Emporium for 999 ancient coins and will last the entire three months of each season, and it will give you some extra rewards throughout your seasonal progression. Some of them already available on the Pirate Emporium and some exclusive items too. However, those exclusive items will all be available on the Pirate Emporium in the next season. So if you don't have the money to buy the Plunder Pass just yet, you won't miss out. That said though, the ancient coins earned from taking part in Seasons, which is free for everyone, will give you just enough coins to earn yourself a Plunder Pass. Here's all the items and rewards you get for taking part for free in Seasons, and here is what you get with the Plunder Pass. So anyone who wants to start complaining, shut your trap and go eat your cookies and milk, or perhaps just your milk, as you probably asked to see the manager when you discovered you needed to spend extra for cookies. <laughs> Now, keep in mind that all these items available from Seasons, excluding the Plunder Pass items, will be time limited. This will be the only time you will ever be able to earn them. So if you want your pirate to look unique in the years to come, be sure to get to the seas and plunder your way to level 100 before the next season, which starts in three months from today. I think that pretty much covers everything. A much shorter video today, guys. And also, apologies for the lack of videos this week. Trust me, it's been for a good purpose. More on that soon. But normal service will resume next week. Happy sailing, guys. Mmm. Cookies.